All right, so AI classrooms, huh? It sounds like something straight out of sci-fi, right? Yeah, a little bit, especially with these headlines screaming, India goes teacherless. Makes you wonder if we'll all be obsolete soon. Well, before we start handing out pink slips to teachers, let's unpack this. This news article we're diving into is about India's first so-called teacherless AI classroom. And like all good headlines, it's probably more attention-grabbing than totally accurate. Right. Headlines will be headlines. Gotta love them. <laughs> so let's try and separate the facts from the, well, let's call it the optimism of this project, shall we? Exactly. What we do know is it's an AI training company called BookSpots behind all this. BookSpots. Okay. And their CEO, Sriniti Ranganathan, who I got to say has the coolest nickname ever, the human AI. So that's pretty interesting. The human AI. That's it. See, that's clever right there. Yeah. He's already framing it. Not AI versus us, but AI is part of us. Very deliberate messaging, I'd say. I'm with you on that. So what's the reality here? What are they actually proposing with this teacherless classroom idea? Well, don't picture like empty desks, rows of laptops, and nobody at the front of the class. It's more about integrating AI into the learning process. Okay, so what, like robot teachers writing on the whiteboard? Not quite. Think AI voice bots leading lessons, webinars with AI tutors, that kind of thing. Like, imagine getting instant feedback on your math homework, but it's tailored to exactly where you're messing up. Oh, see, now that I can get behind, when I was struggling with, oh gosh, what was it, geometry, I think it was my tutor, she just explained it in a way that finally clicked. Having that kind of personalized held available anytime, though, that's a game changer. And that's their pitch, right? Accessibility, efficiency, personalized learning. Makes sense. Especially in India, you've got a massive population, diverse needs. This tech could reach students who might not have access to good education otherwise. Rural areas, kids with disabilities, all sorts of situations. It's bigger than just replacing teachers then. It's about who gets access to what kind of education. Exactly. And this is happening soon too. November 6th, 2024. Mark your calendars. World Trade Center in Bangalore. Wow. Okay, so they're not messing around. But how does it actually work? What's the tech behind this teacherless classroom? The heavy hitters, really. Natural language processing, NLP for us cool kids, and machine learning. Cutting edge stuff. All right, break it down for us. What do those even mean in this context? Okay, so imagine teaching a computer to read and understand, like an actual book. That's essentially NLP. Okay. It lets the AI understand what you're saying, not just words, but like the meaning behind them. So it can hold a conversation. Pretty much. Yeah. Now, how does it know what to teach? Right. That's the machine learning part. Like The AI is taking notes, highlighting the important bits based on what you're asking. So it learns from how each student is doing and adjusts. Exactly. You're getting it. If you're struggling, the AI picks up on that and tries a different approach. Okay, now that is cool. It's like having a tutor who's constantly adapting to what you need, which, let's be honest, even the best teacher in the world can't do for every single student in the classroom. That's personalized learning on a whole other level. But it does make you wonder, are we really ready to hand over education to algorithms? Like, is that really a good idea? The million dollar question, right? And it's interesting, this article actually quotes Mohan Leela Shankar, you know, the godfather of modern AI. Okay, yeah, I've heard of him. What's his take? So he's cautious, right? Doesn't want to overhype things. He actually says, and I quote, AI in education is not just about replacing teachers, it's about enhancing the learning experience. So more like AI is a tool in the classroom, not taking it over completely. Exactly. Like a super powered assistant. Imagine AI taking care of the more, shall we say, tedious parts of teaching. Grading papers, planning lessons. That exactly. Kind of Presenting the information, adapting to different learning styles, all that. Frees up human teachers to focus on what they're really good at. Mentorship, fostering creativity, you know, the human touch. It's funny because when you put it like that, I think about some of my favorite teachers. And yeah, it wasn't just what they were teaching, but how they made me feel mm -hmm. challenged, supported. You know, you can't really program that into an algorithm, can you? And he touches on that, too. The godfather, that is. He's saying that AI, at least where it's at now, can't replicate that emotional intelligence, that understanding of human behavior, which, let's face it, is a pretty big deal in a learning environment. Makes you wonder, are we risking losing something important if we rely too much on AI? Sure, personalized lessons are great, but what about learning to work with other people? Thinking critically, debating ideas, that's all part of it too, right? Huge. Mm -hmm. And, you know, even if AI can tailor those lessons perfectly, it's still working within what it's been programmed to do. It yeah. can't 
replicate the well the messiness of human interaction which honestly is where a lot of learning happens you think about it's like this whole other curriculum running in the background right alongside the textbooks and the lectures yeah how to navigate relationships understand different points of view not exactly quantifiable but pretty essential for you know life in general and that's what we need to be really careful about as we figure out the role of ai in education it's not can it teach but what should it teach what needs a human touch you know it's a good point so even if we're not all rushing to enroll in an ai powered school in bangalore this experiment it matters yeah it's about the future of learning really feels like we're on the edge of something big and unknown here what does education even look like when you add ai to the mix Is it still even a classroom at that point? That's the core of it, yeah. Makes you rethink the whole structure of how we learn. I mean, we could see schools changing, becoming more about, say, collaboration, hands-on stuff, the things AI can't replicate, right? So less about memorizing facts, which AI seems to be able to handle, and more about critical thinking, problem-solving, being creative, all those skills you need in a world that's, well, increasingly run by AI, which is a bit ironic when you think about it. Absolutely. And that's why this story, this experiment, it matters to all of us. Even if we're not packing our bags for Bangalore anytime soon, this is a sign of what's to come. It really makes you think about the bigger picture, doesn't it? The possibilities are huge, right? I mean, personalized learning, more access for everyone, a level playing field. But then there's the other side of that coin, the ethical questions, data privacy. What does it even mean to be educated in a world where algorithms are calling the shots? Yeah, it's a lot to unpack. And we need to be cautious, ask the tough questions, while also, you know, being open to the possibilities. Because technology is a tool at the end of the day. And like any tool, it can be used in a lot of different ways. No easy answers, that's for sure. But as we wrap up here, maybe that's something for you listening to think about. If you were designing this AI learning experience, what would it look like? What would be the most important thing to you? Would it even be a classroom as we know it? Lots to consider. And, you know, asking the thrushes is how we figure this out. I completely agree. The future isn't something that just happens to us. We all have a say in this, especially as AI becomes a bigger part of, well, everything. Couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah. And on that note, we'll let you continue this deep dive on your own. Look up book spots, see what's happening with AI in education. Keep those questions coming because, as we've learned today, the future is full of surprises.